from history defends the Anbiya. Let me ask you a question now. What does Haider mean? What does Haider mean? Lion. No, it doesn't mean lion. In the Arabic language, lion is Asad. That's the meaning of lion. Okay. When a lion is resting or it is at peace, it's called Harif, not Haider. When a lion starts to run to chase its prey, it's called Qusul. Are you with me, inshallah? Asad is the lion. Harith when resting, Qusul when running. When the lion sees its prey and starts hunting it down, it's called Zargam. When the lion catches its prey, it's called Qazamfai. But when the lion, which ran, now pounces on its prey and with its claws tears apart the flesh of its beast, in Arabic, that lion is called Haydar. That's Haydar, not the lion which runs. But the lion which hunts while the enemy's body is being torn apart, that's Haydar. And if anyone asks in the Arabic language, when the lion stands and all the other animals run away, that lion is called Abbas. What's Abbas? When all the other animals see, ah, oh, Haydar is coming, they run. The way that lion walks with pride, harder Abbas. Now come to a Abbas and Islam. When he runs, he has no sword with him, and still they run away from him. The son of Haydar. All of history is defined by Ahlul Bayt. And that's why Karbala is a key part of history. It's a central part of history. There's no escaping Karbala. Karbala is how? I mean the verse of the Quran shows this. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. When Allah said to the angels, Inni ja'alu fil ardi khalifa. I am going to create on this earth a khalifa. Yani from the Adam. Allah, the angel said towards him, Are you going to send a being which is going to cause bloodshed on this earth and fasad? And there will be blood spilling on this earth. We are praising you already. And we are doing your recognition. Why send a being which will be covered in blood on this earth, which will cause mischief? And Allah replied, I know what you don't know. I'm sending Adam for a reason. One of the great ulama today, Sheikh Ali Qurani says, this verse is about Karbala. How? The Malaika, when they said, will you create or send a being which will call bloodshed on this earth, were referring to what? They were referring to the event of the day of Ashura when there will be blood spread on the day of Karbala. And they said, why would you send Adam, when one day you say the human day of Ashura, why would you send him? And Allah replied, I know what you don't know. Which implies something is coming after Ashura, which explains and does vengeance for Ashura. And that's where we come to the Duhur Imam Zaman alayhi islam al This is the Qayyam of Imam. Imam Zaman is part of history. Because someone must come to avenge Karbala. There must be someone. They say while Ashura is happening, the angels watching were in shock at what they were looking at. And they said, Ya Allah, this is your most beloved being. How can we witness this? Allah then did Ishara towards a shadow in heaven and says, Don't worry, I will take vengeance for Hussein from this pile who will come. He will take revenge. So now come to Ashura. Um, so I'm lying on the plate of Karbala, he's wounded and he says the words, My blood will not rest until the time comes to avenge me. He's part of history. And we are in between Ashura and the whole. That's where we are. When Imam Zamana comes, the last thing I mentioned, when he comes, the first thing he says, the first thing, he goes to the Kaaba, stands between the Rukh and the Maqam and says, I'm the Imam of Qayyim. I'm the Imam of Qayyim. I'm the Imam of I'm the uprising. Then he says, Ana Jabdil Hussein Pantalu at Shah. I am the grandson of Hussein, killed while he's thirsty. In the beginning of his mission, he says this. Ana Jabdil Hussein, Tahibul Uriyan. Answer of that Hussein, whose body was destroyed after he was killed. Ana Jabdil Hussein, Ana Imam al Qayyim, Jabdil Hussein, Tahibul Uriyan. I am the son of that Hussein whose body was trampled after he was killed. Imam Zamana says this the moment he returns. Because history is not complete until every blood that was dropped on that day is avenged by someone. And he will be Imam Alayhi 
for his duhoor who was the first Prophet Muhammad and Ali Muhammad. Can I ask that the lights become closed, please, for the Messiah of the Holy Ana Imam al Qaid, Ana Jad al Hussein, Qatru at Shah. I am the Imam, I am the grandson of that Imam who was killed while he was thirsty. As Dalim was saying, it is on these days and nights that Abu Abdullah is reaching and arrives in the land of Karbala. They say before he comes to this land, he sleeps and has a dream. And in his dream, he sees Rasulullah. The Prophet says, Ya Hussein, Allah wishes to see you shaheed. Allah wants to see you killed. And the Imam says, But what about my family who are with me? My sisters, my daughters, my nieces. And the answer comes, Allah wishes to see them as captives taken from Karbala to Kufa and Kufa to Sham. They say Ram Sain then keeps going towards Karbala and again he sleeps just outside of Karbala. He sees a dream. When he wakes from this dream, they say his body is sweating and he is alarmed. What's the dream? He says, I dreamt just now that my body is being torn to pieces by wolves on the desert. My body. And among all those tearing my body, there is one animal which climbs on my chest and starts to bite at my neck. The next day he wakes up and goes towards this new land. When he comes to this land, he stops in one moment and says, What is the name of this place we are in right now? They say to him, Ya Abba Abdullah, this is the place of Banu Asim. He says, No, no, what's the name of this place? They say, Ya Abba Abdullah, Hada Ghadriya. He says, No, what's the real place of this name? They say, Ya Abba Abdullah, Hada Nainawa. He says, No, what's the real place? They say, This is the one more name of this place. Hada Karbala. When he hears this name, he goes, Stop. I will not go forward. I have arrived at my destination. As a dad, we have now reached Karbala. Then they say, he stops and he says, All oh, my people, all oh, my companions, make your camp here. At that time, Muhammad Abbas says, Ya Abba Abdullah, can I give you one suggestion? What he says, you want to camp here, but we are very far away from Farah. And I know you have young daughters. Maybe they become thirsty in the desert. Can we move our tent closer to Farah? My body will be lying here. Think about this for one moment. He didn't say my body will be duffered here. Look at your body will have covered here. My body will lie in this area. Why did he say these words? Why? They say many years earlier, after the when say the Khadija dies, they say there's not enough cloth to make her govern. So Rasulullah says, Ya Allah, this is Khadija, she's my support. Please give me a coffin for her body. They say when it is dua from the heavens, five coffin from the from her mother's sky to Rasulullah. He says, Ya Allah, what are these five coffin you've sent? I only ask for one. The answer comes, Ya Rasulullah. The first coffin is for Khadija because you can't bury her. Now you can bury her. It's okay, fine. What's the second coffin? The second coffin is for your daughter Zahra. So when she dies, she has a coffin. Fine. Forgive all of our sins in this Majalis, Ya Allah. 
Ya Allah, all those who are in Karbala, are going to Karbala, let them reach safely and with Ya Allah. Ya Allah, they are forbidden to and when I was for to ask, she wanted to call Majid, Ya Allah, the Haqqi Ma'am Sajjad gives shifa to all of these who are married and shaman. And finally, all those who establish this majalis, those who attend this majalis, those who wish they could attend, let all of us stand when my mom comes after the Quran, inshaAllah. Allah Humayn is only coming up to Fatima. وبها بعد يا بنيها والسر مستعوض فيها أن تصلي على محمد وآل محمد. أزاد كيلان سمع فرمانه كي يه كسي كي غاري هن نسان موت S T eleven R N V S T eleven R N V please जिसकी भी है उसको थोड़ा सा वहाँ से निकाल दें क्योंकि वो ब्लॉक कर रही है और आप सब से ये दस्तावेज़ गुजारिश है रिक्वेस्ट है कि जब पार्किंग कर रहे हैं मोह तो थोड़ा सा सिंड्रेट रहें क्योंकि इस एरिया में हम लोगों को दस कार्ड्स अलाउड हैं तो प्लीज थोड़ा सा सिंड्रेट रहें बाबा से बलन ना रहे सलवार के साथ इस्तेमाल करें जनाब से ये दानियाल साहब का कि वो मेंबर पे आएं और सलाम पेश करवाएं पर मोहम्मद वाले मोहम्मद सलवार Yeah. 
ਕਦੀ ਦੀ ਕਦੀ ਕਦੀ ਬਾਬੇ ਪਾਕ ਦੀ ਕਬਰ ਤੇ ਜਾਵੇ ਆ ਤੇ ਰੋ ਰੋ ਕੇ ਆਖਿਆ ਤੇਰਾ ਕਫਨ ਵੀ ਮੈਂ ਕਿਹਾ ਹੋਇਆ ਜੋ ਹੱਕ ਨਹੀਂ ਮਿਲਿਆ ਉਸ ਵੇਲੇ ਮੇਰੀ ਸੈਣ 